Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Sarazzle Dazzle Physics. In today's session, guys, we're going to be talking about Snell's Law. So put down today's title, it's going to be Snell's Law. And before we get going, make sure you've watched my previous videos on refraction, how frequency, wavelength, and uh, velocity uh, behave when refraction takes place, and you understand the term of refractive index. Yes, they're both in the description. Click on them if you're still unsure. And if you're still struggling, guys, comment below and I'll try and solve all the problems. Right, so what exactly is Snell's law? Let's do it now. Okay, so over here we have refraction taking place. Yes, we've got material uh, over here and another material over there. We can see that refraction is taking place over here. Right, so we're going to say that um, we know that this one, this material A over here has its own refractive index. So let's call this the refractive index of material 1. Yes, so look, N we know is a symbol for refractive index which can be calculated by speed of light in a vacuum divided by the velocity of the light over here. So this is the refractive index of the first material, that's why it's 1. And we know that the second material will have its own different refractive index, N2. Okay, so what exactly is Snell's law? Well, Snell's law is going to be able to relate this angle here, let's call this one theta 1, the refract and this angle over here, let's call this angle theta 2, yes, from the normal out, from the normal out again, to the refractive indices of the different materials. So it relates them all together. It will relate n1, theta1, and n2 and theta2 together. It will be given by the following formula. So this one is Snell's law. It's going to be n1 sine of the angle theta1 will be equal to n2 sine of the angle theta2. So this is going to be Snell's law. n1 sine theta1 is equal to n2 sine theta2. Obviously, there's a proof behind this, but I'm not going to do it in this video. I might do it in another one, but you can watch that if you want to. Okay, and the beauty of this equation is that now if I know the refractive indices of the materials, I can relate the angles together using this formula. Okay, so obviously you need to have the refractive index of the first material and the refractive index of the second material as well in order to do this calculation. And you must be uh, very familiar with using the sine function as well on your calculator. So make sure you can do the sine theta and the sine inverse, yes, if needed. Okay, so I'm going to walk you now through a question based upon this using the formula of Snell's law. n1 sine theta 1 is equal to n2 sine theta 2. Right, okay, so look, a, a light ray travels from air, n is equal to 1, into water, n is equal to 1.33. Okay, right, if I was you, I'd draw it out. So over here, we've got air and I'm going into water over here. The refractive index of air, we're going to denote it the following. I'm going to put n of air is equal to 1. Yes, the refractive index of the first material is 1. Water over here, the refractive index of water is going to be equal to 1.33. Okay, uh, we know for a fact the ray of light is going to enter over here and look, it's going to be bent towards the normal over here, towards the normal over here. Right, this bit is obviously theta 1 and this bit over here is theta 2, this angle over here. The angle of incidence is 34 degrees. What is the angle of refraction? What is the angle of refraction? So we can write down the following formula. N1 sine of the angle theta 1 is equal to N2 sine of the angle theta 2. Yes, that's our formula. The refractive index, so don't forget my first material is the refractive index of air. So N1 is going to be the refractive index of air, so it's going to be 1. Yes, uh, and look, it says there, uh, the angle of incidence is 34 degrees. So this is 34 degrees going in, 34 degrees going in. So we have 1 over here, sine, so 1 times by sine of the angle 34, is equal to the refractive index of the second material, which is the refractive index of the water, 1.33 sine of the angle, and then theta 2, which we don't know. Yes, what is the angle of refraction? You're trying to work this out, so you're trying to find out theta 2. Rearranging this formula then, so uh, 1 times by sine of the angle, 34, divided by 1.35 is equal to sine of the angle, theta 2. And, uh, sorry, my handwriting's a bit messy there. Therefore, theta 2 is equal to sine to the inverse of 1 times by sine 34 in the calculator divided by 1.35 over here. Let's do this. Let's see what we get. I'm getting theta 2. My angle of refraction over here is going to be 24.5 degrees. So that angle over here from the normal out is going to be 24.5 degrees. 24.5 degrees. 
Excellent stuff. And obviously that makes sense because I'm going from water to air, it must be a lower angle than what it entered it with because we're going from air into water, so it must be lower. So yes, that looks kind of right. Question two using Snell's law. Calculate the index of refraction for medium B. Calculate the index of refraction for medium B. Using Snell's law. So let's write down Snell's law once again. N1 sine of the angle theta 1 is equal to N2 sine of the angle theta 2 over here. Right, so we want uh, material 2. Uh, let's take a material, so N2, we don't know what this one's going to be here. Right, now from here, let's rearrange it. You want to make N2 the subject of the formula. You have everything else. Right, so don't forget, oh, now careful, it's 53 degrees here. That's not the angle that you want. You want this one over here. Don't forget, because it's from the normal out, it relates to that angle over there. So, so this angle is actually 37. So 37 goes in, and this one is going to be, don't forget, I, want, I don't want this angle. I want this angle over here. I want 53 over here. Yes, excellent stuff. So now we can plug this into our formula. So we're trying to find out N2. So N1 was glass. So now I'm going from glass into something else. And obviously, I can see it's going to be less dense because it's moving away from the normal. So I already know it's going to be less dense. So it should be lower than this value over here. So N1, we know it's going to be uh, 1.5 times by sine of the angle, yes, don't forget, this is, this angle is phi to 1, this angle over here, times by 37 is equal to N2, we don't know what that is, times by sine of the angle 53. Therefore, N2 is equal to 1.5 times by sine of the angle 37 divided by sine 53. I'm getting the refractive index going to be equal to 1.13 over here. And that's it, guys, for another session of some Razzle Dazzle Physics. Make sure that you add the formula for Snell's Law. N1 sine theta 1 is equal to N2 sine theta 2 to your arsenal when you're tackling questions based upon refraction. And that's it, guys. I shall see you next time. Ciao, ciao, and goodbye.